Walking under the vibrant sky and rustic cliffs of Caprock Canyon State Park feels like a journey into a lost age. In this corner of West Texas, this sprawling land is home to a herd of Southern Plains bison, a species that centuries ago dominated the landscape. Today, it's a park where the bison and the humans roam. So this is kind of just my uh, memory wall. Last month, Rebecca Clark visited the park for a week of solo hiking. That's actually him. It's she didn't think up. the experience would end up immortalized on this wall. I want to remember that time and all the things that happened. It's a story she's lucky to tell. Come on, keep going. I just want to get by, okay? Clark recorded on her phone as she crossed paths with bison roaming past a trail much closer than the 50 yard minimum distance recommended. At what point did you realize you were in trouble? Well, I think it's when I used profanity <laughs> in my video. Uh, Thank you, I appreciate it. When I saw him turn, it's like instantly I knew he was gonna come after me. Oh, no, no. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my God. The bison oh, gored God. Clark in the back. It was so fast. He hit me in the back, rammed me, hooked me, and then flipped me up face forward into the mesquite bush. What is going through your mind at that time? I thought I was paralyzed. You've kept the backpack intact? Oh yes, this is my backpack. I might wash it eventually. I had to eat a lot of humble pie for this one. The bison's horn cut a wide gash in her back. I still know that I was too close. You know, I wasn't as diligent as I should have been. Clark posted her video on TikTok. It went viral. And it also put the spotlight on this unique state park. The bison are definitely the keystone species. Donald and Beard is the Beard superintendent of Caprock Canyon State Park and a passionate advocate of growing bison herd populations across the country. It's really cool to be able to drive through this park and have bison walk across the road in front of you and see them and know the history of them. In the 1870s, the Texas bison were decimated in the Great Slaughter, but famed ranchers Charles and Marianne Goodnight saved a few. The descendants of those bison were bred and kept on a private ranch for decades. In 2011, the park released the bison to begin roaming freely through much of this 15,000 acre park. Since then, Beard says, the herd grew from 80 animals to 350. The song, Give me a home where the buffalo roam. That's where we live. Visitors are warned repeatedly to keep their distance. Here, the bison are king. They are survivors. You know, they've survived our best attempt at trying to get rid of them. And, and they're making a comeback. Has this changed your relationship with this animal? I'm sorry. Gosh, oh, yeah, I can't yeah. believe you did this to me. <laughs> I'm trying to protect the opportunity to go experience nature. This is what makes Rebecca Clark emotional. She'd be devastated if her encounter prevents others from this bison experience. You love the outdoors that much? No, I think that's... Yeah, wow. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wow. <laughs> no, you just had an aha moment for me there. So, yeah. I hope I didn't... Yeah. Keep somebody else from that.